Greetings, YouTube. I apologize that I'm having to revisit a raped 10-year-old who had to move from one state to another or travel from one state to another to get an abortion again. But this is a really big case going on in America at the minute. Um, and I apologize that this is not as timely as maybe it could be. Um, I've been really paranoid since my computer crashed, my last system. So I've been putting these videos out kind of early, trying to make sure I've got a buffer in case I have to go get another system or get this one prepared. And this one's already crashed once since I bought it. I hate the technology. Um, people seem to be debating. Yes, debating. Whether a 10-year-old was raped. Now, first of all, they called into question it was raped at all because there had been no arrest in it, and the person that raped the 10-year-old has been, in fact, arrested and tossed into a prison cell. Um, or I'm sure that he's going to have a great deal of fun with all of the prisoners when he finally gets found guilty and gets sent to prison, because the prisoners, for some reason, don't like guys that rape 10-year-olds. It's funny about that. Um, even even prisoners, yeah, have standards. But um, I don't think they're really breaking this down, so I'm going to explain it in very clear terms so that any conservative that ever sees this, ever, in your entire life, if you have ever voted for the GOP, you need to listen to these words, okay? Are, we, are you with me? Good, good, good. When a 10-year-old girl ends up pregnant, it is very important that the 10-year-old girl gets the immediate medical and psychological and legal help that she needs immediately. Because you know, when a 10 year old girl is pregnant, that in and of itself is incontrovertible proof that she has been raped. Now you may be asking, how, how? Mr. Tetsubo, how is it that a pregnant 10-year-old is absolute proof, without question, without doubt, with absolute and perfect clarity, how is it that you know so, so strongly that she is in fact, uh, has in fact been raped? Any, any answers on that one? Anyone in the back of class? Come on, I want to, okay. Because she's 10, and she's a girl. You see, we have this concept of consent. And we even have a legal definition known as age of consent. And that means that if a person is at the age of consent or older, they can agree if they would desire to have intercourse with someone that it is the thing that they are interested in. Though, we should also probably make sure that at that, that, that 16, when that is very common in the United States for an age of consent, they are in fact not being picked up by 50 year olds. But that's a different, that's, that's a different problem. Um, so any person under the age of consent automatically is a rape victim if they end up pregnant. And if they don't have the capacity to be pregnant and someone forces sex upon them, that is also rape. I'm not saying that it isn't rape when it was someone that can't get pregnant, because that is also rape. Um, and I'm not sure how so many Republicans seem confused by the concept that a 10-year-old that is pregnant is, in fact, automatically the definition of a rape victim. And while I am so hesitant to ask this question, I am going to ask it anyway, because apparently I'm a glutton for punishment. But does anyone want to tell me how a conservative thinks a 10-year-old girl is not a rape victim when she's pregnant? 